Hello viewers, welcome back. Starting this video, I am going to cover the Tally Prime's latest release 6.0. So in this video, I will quickly walk through the major features and enhancements that has been provided in Tally's latest release 6.0. So let's walk through the highlights of the latest release 6.0. In fact, Tally has already launched this release on 18th of March, which is such a soft launch. Actually, you can go to the website and download. So before you start exploring the product, we will go through the highlights of release 6.0. The latest Tally Prime release is 6.0, which I had mentioned earlier. And also I mentioned that Tally had soft launched the release from 18th of March 2025 and the same is available for all of you to download and install. The official launch of Tally Prime 6.0 is scheduled for 9th April 2025 at 11 a.m. As a Tally customer, you would have received an invite to attend online launch event. You can register yourself to witness the feature of Redis 6.0. Now let us walk through and explore the features that are provided in Tally Release 6.0. The major enhancement of 6.0 is connected banking. Now you can connect your bank accounts to Tally Prime with top tier security and access real-time bank statements and balances directly within Tally Prime. This feature will improve cash flow visibility and enable swift decision. With connected banking, you need not have to log in to multiple bank portal to access your bank account. Using TallyNet credentials, you can connect to your all banks account to Tally Prime. In phase one, Tally is providing connected experience with Access Bank, Kotak Bank and SBI. At the time of this recording, currently Access Bank and Kotak Bank has been enabled and finalization with SBI is underway. By the time official launch is done, probably SBI may also be available for connected experience. However, you can check on Tally website for more information. With connected banking experience, you can check your bank balance instantly when you want to send payment to vendors and compare the balances between your book and bank account. Further enhancement is being provided to view bank balances in reports such as ledger vouchers and group summary. So we will walk through each of this enhancement when we go into the product experience. The next highlight of 6.0 is enhanced bank reconciliation. You can now save time and improve accuracy by automatically reconciling exact matches. You also get smart suggestion for potential mismatches to your book transaction. Tally will auto reconcile exact matches while importing the bank statements. There is an option for you to reconcile at a later point in time also. All this can be configured in your bank ledger. What's more, you can set rule for potential match as per your business needs. You can find a match for a single or multiple transactions from the unreconciled transactions. In case you prefer manual reconciliation as before, you can also do so. Important note, if the company is split, the unreconciled book and bank transactions automatically appears in the opening BRS report. If you are doing reconciliation for the first time, you can set reconciliation date and add unreconciled transactions to the opening BRS. The next announcement is automated voucher creation using bank statement. Now your data entry effort will be reduced. This feature is a delight of accountant. Most importantly, 
This feature is a boon for auditors and CAs who maintain their client's accounting. With this feature, you can create vouchers at one go using entries from imported bank statement. You can create multiple vouchers with a common or separate ledgers. Not just that, you can merge multiple transactions to create a voucher with consolidated amount. Very handy to account bank charges and other service charges levied by the bank as an example. All the key information such as narration, instrument number, instrument date and amount will get automatically filled. The next one is integrated payments and accounting. E-payments now comes with a new and simplified report which integrates accounting and reconciliation. This enables flexibility and better tracking of your e-payment for more than 18 banks. The next one, revamped banking reports. Bank reconciliation further simplifies with new and enhanced reports such as banking activities, bank reconciliation summary and bank reconciliation. Now you can view pending actions related to bank reconciliation and e-payment. Reports like voucher and daybook now includes banking related data. This helps in better tracking of payment and reconciliation status. The next one, bank data in company books. Now you can import bank data for more than 145 banks in India and 80 banks across Asia, Africa and North America. The imported bank details are stored in your company for quick reference and reconciliation which will also assist easier audit. The next very handy announcement is bank and reconciliation details in payments and receipt vouchers. Payments and receipts will now contain all bank reconciliation details. You can refer these details during voucher creation and also during alteration of voucher. The next one, new dashboard tiles for connected banking and reconciliation. You can now view banking related tiles with information such as the transaction spending and reconciliation and the balance as per your bank from the dashboard tile. The next minor enhancement is data splitting. With release 6.0, you can split your data with single company, but still you have an option to split the company with two companies as earlier. Data verification has been enhanced to reduce errors like out of memory or memory access violation. The next enhancement, latest income tax slab rate for new tax regime as per finance bill 2025-26 has been updated. The next enhancement is phase three HSN summary breakup of B2B and B2C supplies. This reporting has not yet come into effect as proposed by GST, which might be introduced probably from April 25. Whenever the same gets notified, Tally is already ready with HSN summary breakup between B2B and B2C for upload. Apart from this, there are other enhancements which helps better online GST compliance and certain bug fixes also. I will cover the product demo in multiple videos. I hope you had a fair idea of what are the features that are made available in release 6.0 and this is the major connected banking feature in release 6.0. So you can make use of this feature and enhance your online activity better. So thank you once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.